With us now is Long Island Zone Keith Hart, and he runs the Hart Agency. But even more, he's a man with a big, generous heart. And we're going to be talking today about the Hospitality Ball. Welcome to the show, Keith. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, how did the Hospitality Ball start for you? Mm, I had uh, thyroid cancer uh, eight years ago, and I wanted to make a difference. My, uh, my father had uh, a lung cancer. My partner, his father, had, uh, both died of lung cancer. So I said, let me just try to do an event. Let me try to make some money and try to do something. So I said, if I raise twenty, thirty thousand dollars 30000 great. So I got my friends in the restaurant business, and the more and more people I asked, they said, would you like to donate food and come down? And everybody said yes, and then I got my friends in the liquor business, and they said yes, and my friends in the entertainment business, the same thing. And before you know it, the hospitality ball came about. And the first year, we did over a thousand people and raised one hundred and seventy thousand dollars for our charity. And now, this last year, we raised uh, three hundred sixty-five thousand dollars. So wow. it's grown. And uh, if anybody, if you haven't been there, it's probably one of the most premier events in Long Island now, and it just keeps on getting bigger and bigger. This year, we have Alec Baldwin as our host. I know. Can uh, you imagine? Isn't that exciting? Right. You know what I like, too, is the fact that you're inviting people that work in the hospitality industry to get other people to cover their shifts so that they can have a night out. Right. Because so often, they're working all year long with everybody else's special occasion, and this is one night where they, in particular, in addition to the general public, can go out and celebrate. Well, I like to call it our New Year's Eve party okay. for the people in the hospitality business. And that's what we do. And we try to keep the ticket price low, $125 to be able to eat and drink and have the entertainment that we have in there is, for, for me, phenomenal. I go to these affairs right. that cost $500, $1,000, and by the time the appetizer comes down, half of the place is empty already because it's boring. This is the most fun you're going to have with your clothes on. It's a great <laughs> event. It's a lot of fun. It so, is a lot of fun. Yeah. I've been there running the red carpet for you year after year right. because, you know, cancer has affected my family. My yeah. mom died of breast cancer and my spouse died of colon cancer. And so for me, the hospitality ball, plus it's always right around my birthday because right. my birthday is June 3rd. So yeah. to me, it's like my own happy birthday. <laughs> um, but I value what it is that you're doing. And it takes a lot of effort to pull the whole team together. You have tons of committees, right? How many committees Ton do you have going have on now? I have seven or eight committees. I put a sign up uh, before the meetings, leave your egos at the door. You have a lot of people in the restaurant business that are competing against each other, and they come in and they donate the time, they sell tickets, they bring food, uh, and they make it a great event. And this is what we do. We entertain people. So this is our night to entertain people, but it's a lot of work. Yeah. So the committees all have to get together, and you got to push buttons to make sure everybody's uh, doing what they're supposed to do. But every year it gets bigger, it becomes more and more fun, and I think people have a sense of pride. And everybody wants to give back a little bit. So so that's what we do. And the food's yeah. incredible. Unbelievable. And it's at the Crest Hollow Country Club, so you've got like walking stations all the way throughout the right. back and right. music, and right. it's just a fantastic night out. Right. Now, you personally, when, when you've been working so long, I know how many employees you have, and you do all these like special functions. Do you actually get to enjoy yourself that night? Do you allow yourself to have any fun? Yeah, yeah, now I do. In okay. the beginning, I couldn't wait till it, like, it was almost over. And afterwards, I'm drained. Right now, from now until the ball, I'm very busy, and it's a lot of stress. But that night, I'm going to let my hair down, or whatever hair I have <laughs> left. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to have fun. Now, why yeah. do you feel it's important to help others? Why, why are you philanthropic at the very core of who you are, Keith? I why? think it makes you feel good inside to do something like that. And we're all here for such a short time, and you see things happen to people or it happened to myself, and it's just a way of giving back. It makes you feel better to do something for somebody or, or for a cause like this. You know, my life is pretty good. I, you know, I want to try to do something, and that's, uh, and that's it, probably very simple. And how did you know that you had made it? Because you didn't always just, you know, snap your fingers and then things came easy for you. You've worked really oh, hard over no. the years. Yeah, yeah. What was that moment where you, as your career kind of rose, that you said, wow, you know what? I'm at the point in my life where I've achieved a lot and I can share. Uh, probably about seven or eight years ago. Okay, just, what I, happened? I ended up getting a, a big client, and that client, like, made me to. I, I own a couple restaurants and besides, and everything was good, but this client brought me over the top uh, where... Uh, where, you know, it, uh, the, 
humbly, it, it just made me more money, and, 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 and I felt I could even do more. But in my life, after having uh, cancer and after going through that, I want to smell the roses a little bit, too. I want to give back, smell the roses, enjoy. We're not here that long, so we've no. got to enjoy it. And money isn't everything. No, so, it's not you know, at all. And if you can eat the same steak and drive in the same car, but after that, what does it really matter? You go on vacations, but you got to enjoy it. And enjoy the people that you're around. And that's kind of what my easy, simple philosophy is now. Well, I know that everybody knows you when you mention your name. Everybody has a smile. Oh. You know, everybody says, what a great guy. So thank you so much for spending a little time here promoting. Uh, so Hospitality Ball, right? Yep. Hospitality Ball, June 1st, the Crest Hall Country Club. Great time. Everybody will enjoy it. Money back guarantee. There you go. Hey, there you go. <laughs> and uh, come with us. Live it up. We'll be there on the red carpet. I uh, can't wait to have you join us. It's the Hospitality Ball. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up.